Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of Beyond the Mask. Today I'm going to be revealing and discussing the very first draft of Scream, or Scary Movie as it was known originally, and how the original motive for Billy Loomis and Stu Marker was different to the motive that we got. Like most movies, Scream's very first original draft features a lot of elements that would change when the movie was officially released in theatres. Some changes were big and then some weren't but today i want to discuss a very big one which not only changed billy and Stu's motive but it also changed a huge dynamic in the movie surrounding sydney prescott and her story arc now just to confirm if you google the script for scream 1996 you will discover a couple of versions that were edited and finalized this version i'm talking about is when the movie was titled scary movie and it isn't easy to find, but so you guys can read through it yourself, there is a link in the description. Go and check it out, give it a read, see all the things that were different. It's very interesting. This was the very, very first pitched idea for Scream 1996. But let me jump right in here. The movie you know today had a killing spree taking place in 1996, which had a link to the past, as it was Sydney, the main star and the killer's targets, who was battling in a turmoil from her mother's death, which occurred one year prior. Eventually, it was revealed that it was the killers of the current killing spree in 1996 that were responsible for Maureen's death. The motive for everything was that Maureen had an affair with Billy's dad, Hank Loomis, and caused the breakup of his family and his mother disappearing from Woodsboro. So how does this differ from the original motive? Well, the original draft of Scream featured a much darker, undertone that was stripped away in the movie we got. The victim narrative for Maureen is also stripped away as it's alluded to that she had a tendency to groom underage boys and yes you heard me right Maureen groomed underage boys in the original draft for Scream. On green grass under a tree sit Sydney and Tatum several yards away from the school building it is quiet here, with only one or two other students in the distance. Tatum. Maybe Cotton Weary is telling the truth. Maybe he was having an affair with your mum. Sydney. So you think my mum was a slut too? Tatum. I didn't say that, Sid. But you know, there were rumours. Your dad was always out of town on business. Maybe your mum was just a very unhappy woman. Sydney. But why sleep with Cotton Weary? That guy was a loser. Tatum. With a raw iron ass, the guy was young and hot. Maybe she had a thing for little boys. If they were having an affair, how come Cotton couldn't prove it in court? Tatum, you can't prove a rumour, that's why it's a rumour. Sydney, created by media propaganda. Tatum, delicately, it goes further back, Sid. People have always talked. The subtle hints dropped in the script that hint towards Maureen being not a standard victim in some way. So what follows after this is later on in the movie, Billy and Stu discuss their motive with Sydney, and it's revealed that Maureen Prescott groomed and raped Billy and Stu. Yes, once again, you heard it right. Maureen groomed Billy and Stu, had sex with them both, and that is what created the monsters. Sydney, why are you doing this? Stu, it's all part of a game. Billy, it's called Guess How I'm Gonna Die. Sydney, fuck you. Billy, we already played that game. Stu, to Billy, don't forget I owe you a dollar. Billy, you have to play Sid. Don't want to disappoint your dad. He's been waiting around all night. Stu, it's an easy game. We ask you a question. If you get it wrong, you die. Billy, and if you get it right, you die. Sydney stares down at her dad as a dark realisation claims her face. She looks back at Billy, holding strong. Which one of you killed my mother, she says. Billy smiles. It was more of a tag team effort. Stu. That's the way your mother liked her little boy, Sydney. Billy. But you knew that, didn't you, Sid? You were pretending not to, but you knew. It was all part of your post-traumatic shit. Stu. Hell, the whole town knew about your mom. 
She was whoring her ass all over the place, practically raped us. Billy, I swear to God, Sid, always pawing at me when you weren't looking, flashing her shit like she was Sharon Stone or something. Stu, she had to be stopped. Let's face it, your mother was no Sharon Stone. This adds a whole darker element to the original story. The script painted Billy and Stu as cold-blooded killers with a more revenge-based motive that was due to Maureen Prescott grooming the pair and thus making them use the excuse to kill her. It was darker than what we got. It created a more damaging backstory for Billy and Stu and also didn't create a sympathetic scenario for Maureen at all. In fact, the script hints that Sydney heard the stories about her grooming young boys, but chose to ignore it. I think this script was too problematic to make it to the big screen. The movie we ended up with was clear with its decision to portray Billy and Stu as killers, but the motive made you, I don't want to say sympathise, but you understood why Billy did this to a point, but you felt sympathy for Sydney and Maureen who left her daughter behind to pick up the pieces of what was left from her tragic life she had beforehand. But making her groom young boys would have stripped that away completely and in my opinion would be slightly problematic. It's like something that Rob Zombie would have done if he remade Scream. Now I like Rob Zombie's Halloween but you get my point with that. It's like something he'd have done because he used to lean more on dark and gritty plots and didn't mind making people seem horrendous. But that's the original motive of Billy and Stu. Now I finally got on my hands on more original scripts like this. One of them is actually Scream 4, the very original treatment that Kevin Williamson wrote before Aaron Kruger came and edited it that is not available online anywhere. But I will be covering that in a future video. So be sure to subscribe and sign up for notifications so you don't miss a single video. If you're unaware, I'm currently working on a novelization that will continue the Lakewood story that was set up in MTV Scream. The book will serve as a continuation to the story where it left off in season 2 and has also been okayed by the showrunners of the show and will have the official Paramount title attached to it. If you would like early access to the novel, then you can join my Patreon below where I will be releasing chapters every month over there so you guys will see how everything goes down before it hits Kindle next year. The link to Patreon is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.